What's up, guys? Igor Chevalier from Strup Studio. As you probably know, Volcano 3 from Fab Filter just get out. It's a fucking killer plugin. I can tell you that great, great, great saturation distortion algorithm. You can do a lot of shit with this thing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a kick suitable you know to use in any hard dance music using only a 909 kick like a straight 909 kick and volcano tree all right so let's do this okay guys before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any question leave a comment below and if you'd like to get the preset of the volcano tree i've made in this video the link of this bad boy is in the description so go check it out okay so here is the bad boy so let me turn it off for now so for now we have only like a straight uh, 909 kick this shit sounds like this you know, just regular 909 kick. Okay, and this is how it sounds with Volcano 3 on. Check it out, guys. Dope, isn't it? Okay, so let me break down a little bit what is going on here. So basically in Volcano 3, you can have four filters that you can, you know, choose from any of these. And for each filter, this is a new feature. Now you have a drive knob right there and you have also several saturation algorithms and each one of them has his own sounds, you know. So you have a lot, a lot of color, you know, that you can create with this plugin. Also, you have the routing option here, which are great in my opinion, because watch out what happens if I only switch, you know, the routing. Basically, only from switching the routine, you can have a shit ton of kicks, you know, you, you just basically need to print them out, make some layering, etc. But basically, with these presets, you can create a lot of good shit, you know. And again, this is only using a 909 kick. You can also try to use different kicks, different samples to have different results, of course. Okay, so this preset was created using this routine. As you can see, so one and two are in parallel. So one and two are basically uh, this band pass here and this bell here. The, as you can see, there is some modulation going on also. That pushes, you know, the peak with an envelope, as you can see. 
I'm telling you guys, this tool is really a must have, you know, for sound designing. Okay, and number four is another bell boosting the same frequency. As you can see, these two are set on the same frequency. You know, this way we can have a lot of push around this frequency. And I can control both of them with this slider there. As you can see, if you click there, you can see which parameters are affected. So filter one, filter four freak, as you can see, and you can move them together to create some nice colors. Then I have uh, an HP filter, so high pass filter, which is number three. As you can see, this is after one and two. So you can cut, you know, the lows right there. And finally, we have the number four, which is the second boost as I said before. And as you can see, each one of these filters have different saturation algorithm, as you can see. And I pretty much push the drives knob almost to the maximum everywhere, you know, as you can see. Except for the number two. Let's see if we push more. And I choose, you know, for example, the hard algorithm here, the gentle one here, the extreme there, and for the high pass filter, the metal. Maybe on the first filter, we can switch to a more tough, you know, filter. Let's try it, for example, you know, extreme. As you can see, it changed a lot of the sounds, you know, each time you switch for another algorithm. Okay, so let me turn off, you know, this instance of Volcano 3. I'm going to load a brand new one and let me, you know, show you basically what I've did, you know, to create this sound. First, we're going to create a bell. We're going to use some kind of R on the algorithm, like the extreme, for example. As you can see right away, it distorts. So one trick, you can push even more, you know, into Volcano 3 with the input gain. Let's see. Let's create now an high pass filter. Watch what happened. It self oscillates, you know. To prevent that, you have the auto mute self osc button here. You can, you know, really push some frequency like this, and they're gonna be cut once you stop. So let's add another bell, you know, to even push more. One thing that you have to keep in mind, it's the routing. So in this case, with the first filter, we drive quite a bit and with the second one, even more. So if you want to push some frequency into distortion, basically you have to do the opposite. So maybe, you know, have the two pretty clean, the one clean also, and we're gonna distort a lot the three and use maybe an extreme algorithm. What we can create here, it's a modulation like I did, you know, in the other presets. We have several modulation available, you know, nothing new here from uh, FabFilter. That's the same, basically, as you have in uh, Saturn 2, for example. Let's create, you know, new envelope generator. Uh, let's open it. Let's, you know, create a nice and tight transient, something like this. And now we have to, you know, fine tune the threshold. 
you can assign that to the pick, for example. Let's try to drive the number one again. And from there, we can add a fourth, you know, filter. Maybe, you know, you can push even more this frequency. And let's distort the shit of it. Use another hard uh, algorithm. For example, here you could have a nice tuck. You just print the audio, just use the first part of the kick. And what you can do here, for example, you know, it's create a slider, route the slider on three filters. This way you can move the three filters together. For example, we, you can set the bass, you know, much lower. And you can click here again to expand, you know, the range. Like so. Maybe a little bit too much. And what you can do, which is super great, it selects several, you know, uh, filter. And then as you can see now, it shows that we have multiple algorithm chose. So you can choose for the three together in once, you know, this way. So let's try some different color, you know. <laughs> And from there, don't forget that you can change the routing. As you can see, this is really a great plugin, great, you know, tool for sound designing for everything, you know, but just keep in mind, you know, that this was only using, you know, FabFitter Vulcan 3. You can also, you know, of course, add a fucking trash 2, you know, behind and create great kicks, you know, using the, the classics way, you know, you put the trash 2 in clip control, drive a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, as you can see, this is a great addition, you know, to Trash 2, to designing hard cakes like this. Okay, so I think you get the point. I can only, you know, advise you to get that fucking bad boy Volcano 3, great plugin, great addition to every fucking else. Again, if you want the preset which I've made, the first one I've shown you today, you can get that shit, you know, in the description. The link is in the description. So go check it out. Guys, this was Igor Chevalier from Stop Studio. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.